Hey folks, it's 7 7 15, July 7th, 2015, and uh, just after 8 o'clock. Um, something that uh, so many of you want to know about that's difficult until you get there, and then it's like breathing is contacting your spirit guides a lot of them are talking to you and you're not even aware uh, sometimes you go driving down the road and all of a sudden you just turn a different way to go home it's like what's that about and uh, it could have been your spirit guide just wanted to talk to you wanted you to see something in a way going that way maybe even a, um, take you out of a road jam because you had to go somewhere kind of quick somewhere else and they were helping you but lots of times it's just to see something but it's also important um, just to communicate one of the hardest things to do today is to calm your mind down to meditate uh, you got something that works for you great you know use it uh, but let me tell you something uh, the way to get the most out of talking with your spirit guides and other energy other spirit sense energy you have to put your conscious mind into neutral okay first you want a quiet setting Okay, very calm, peaceful, very little noise, maybe even if you can sit out by the water and not get eaten by mosquitoes or you know, have people screaming or whatever. Um, uh, water's very nice because it's soft and flowing and it's kind of self-balancing. So either way, just have it quiet, make yourself comfortable, uh, sit, at least when we're starting, we, we want to sit in a chair. Uh, if you lean back a little bit, that's fine, uh, but you don't want to lean back too much. You want to be comfortable, but you don't want to go to sleep. And it helps to have the back somewhat straight, okay? Right now, my back isn't perfectly straight, but it's pretty much there. Um, of course, I've been doing this for, <laughs> you know, for a long time. Uh, I'm kind of chuckling because I've been doing a lot more than talking with these folks for forever. I don't have spirit guides, but I, I just talk with everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, you want to take nice, relaxed breaths. You want to take a full breath, not suck in the clouds, okay? Um, but you want to take relaxing breaths. Nice. Take it in. Relax. Take it in. Relax. You'll start feeling your body calming down that's wonderful that is the first step okay it's got to be quiet because when you do get to the point where you're literally flowing inside yourself I'm sorry I had some salt and my tongue swollen I'm having a hard time talking but you want to just relax and get to the point where you flow inside yourself and that's where you talk with your spirit guides that's where you get in a mind frame where you can go out and natural project this is where all the fun happens okay it, it's just getting there um, it's once you do and you've done it a few times it's a natural thing it's a natural thing for the body we've been trained and programmed for centuries many 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 centuries hundreds of centuries to keep this from happening it's time to change that okay this big change coming and you need to be ready and it's going to start by you talking with your spirit guides so far as your preparation for what's coming, okay? Besides, these guys were with you when before you got put in a body to be with you for this life. Why not use them? I tried, Jay. I, I went, I relaxed, and I said, where are you? And no one came. Well, I don't blame them. Uh, number one, you're not doing diddly squat other than saying, yo, come here. Uh, it doesn't work like that, okay? Uh, first off, you need to relax your mind, your body first, then your mind, 
and then your DNA starts to unwind and then you just slowly flow. You relax, you're flowing, your energy starts softening up, just relaxing, it comes out of you a little more. Take a deep breath in and then exhale and then the energy just sits down. Uh, another a, a stone that's very good for this to help you with this is called Numite. N U U M I T E. Okay, very good stuff. Uh, it helps you relax, helps your energy relax. It, it's like your core energy just softly flows like this, and then it straightens out like this right before it hits the ground. It doesn't ground you, but it lets you flow out on top of the ground where you're still floating for you know what they call meditation. Just relaxing. Uh, that's the way to be. <laughs> that's something move over here. Um, I did a, a consult earlier today, and a young lady had um, uh, some nanites in her. Um, she's a very special, unique lady. And uh, I told her, hold on, I had to crank up my energy over there um to burn those things out and i did and literally sent something flying off her shelf something loud made a big crash poor thing she jumped out of the seat <laughs> anyway whatever um there's a whole world waiting for you folks okay um but it starts by flowing down into yourself it just you flow into yourself i've always said flow within so that you can flow without and by flowing in i mean just float inside yourself flow inside your body into your core energy you go through the mind and come in and relax and it's like you're floating in your core energy but actually you just it, it's mostly staying in the head and right here in the chest and then all of a sudden poof you just come out and you come you can come in and out through the crown the pineal all over the place okay so we'll go back to where we were it's a quiet setting we're sitting relaxed there's not there's no um, next to no noise no one's gonna bug you. If you as long as you don't leave the water running okay the door open for animals to come in or the car running yeah, you're gonna be fine okay um, so you just relax with normal relaxed but full breaths and you'll feel your body start to calm down and then it just should be relaxed Then you take another deep breath in, or full breath. Let me say that instead. Another full breath. And then as you exhale, don't try to hold it and barely let some out or breathe in slow or fast or some of this other garbage, some of these gurus and people say, just be normal. Just relax. You'll feel something going on in your head you get a little extra oxygen and then you exhale you feel a little soft relaxation sometimes um, an opening of release a flow and it's not the kind of thing you just feel like someone being hit you in the head okay this is all very soft you breathe in you exhale hear your breath as you do it know that when you pull in your breath and fill your lungs up you're taking in oxygen, you're taking in good energy from the earth and she owns this body, these bodies. And then as you exhale, you are literally getting rid of the carbon dioxide that the plants use and turn around the oxygen for us to breathe in. Yeah, and you're taking energies, uh, frust frustrating energy frequencies and stuff and you're releasing them. Now you just keep doing this. Breathe in, breathe out, and at this point, you don't try to think about nothing because that's impossible. Okay, anytime you're trying to think of anything, you're, you've engaged your conscious mind. It's still in drive. This has to go in neutral. When you say mantras, ah, da, 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 you're literally working your conscious mind, your body, you're, oh, you're getting frantic. That's your conscious mind, folks. I'm sorry, you're not going where you need to be. I don't care if you're a Tibetan monk or whatever. I don't care. I love y'all, but you know, no, uh, that, that ain't going to get it, okay? Uh, but I get myself on the right, when you get in the mantra, you're pushing yourself, you're trying to make yourself believe something. For Pete's sake, let it go. 
You have to take the conscious mind and put it in neutral. You want to be able to talk with everything. You're not trying to, what are you trying to do? Make yourself see something? A pink elephant or something? For Pete's sake, stop. Let it go. Relax. You have to open up so that other people can come and talk to you. All of you, all of you that are in, just about every single person, if not every person, depends on what time, almost every one of you out there that listen to me, you have favor on around the house. They would love to talk to you. You have to get there first. As you flow within, to flow without, when you flow inside your body and relax, you literally, inside your body, inside your brain, you have literally entered the second dimension. Okay? You're there. And that's how we do this. Okay? But the body has to be calm, relaxed, just flowing nice and easy. So as you take another deep breath and you're feeling your body just relax, then all of a sudden, your mind finally just calms down. Don't engage in conscious thought. Do not try not to think. Just see your mind and just go like this. Put it in neutral. Let it free run. Whatever your mind wants to do, your conscious mind, let it do it as long as you're not engaged in it. You can't be, oh my God, I got to do this. I got to pick up the kids in an hour. You know, I got to do this. I got to make this happen. I got to make this happen. You have to get rid of that. You have to be calm. Sometimes playing some kind of music you like is really nice. Uh, when I say music, I'm not talking about words and stuff. I'm, taking, I'm talking about something soft and flowing. Just nice and easy. Tom Kenyon sound bath is something like that. Uh, sometimes drums, rattles. Um, uh, I am going to try to get that... Uh, 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 meditation uh, set of DVDs uh, done and CDs done uh, before I get out of here. Um, just but the books first. Sorry, the books paramount uh, more so than this. But this is this is extremely important because this is what you need to talk with everyone that's out there. The, these two books I, I'm writing for you tells you how it all started, the first being, and everything. And, and then how it all came together, all the things that happened, uh, all, how they all reacted with each other, interacted with each other, and the war that went on over there, how everything was killed, and then all the new bodies coming, the new set of government, were you all going to run yourselves? Or, excuse me, they really don't like them to say government, I don't care what they like actually, but um, they're correct uh, in that manner. Um, government's got a, a bad uh, taste in my mouth, as well as most of us, uh, for the way they abuse us. But anyway... Uh, Back to the meditation. Um, as you release and flow down into yourself, you literally, there's a certain feeling. It's not like a la euphoria or something, but it feels nice. It's relaxing. It's And you just kind of, you, you're just there. You're soft, softly floating. And if you think, am I there? Well, then guess what? You just took yourself out because it's conscious thought. You have to relax. The only conscious thought you're going to have is you're relaxing and, and you, your body's calm. We're going to go through all this in, in a minute, but it's going to be more direct. I'm trying to explain little things right now. But uh, you just relax. Feel yourself flow down into yourself. And then things just kind of float out. Uh, if you keep your eyes open, they, they'll go out of focus. Don't have something catching your eyes. That's your conscious mind. You just relax. And just float open. Sometimes you can think of a, of a small, teeny orb of light on top of water in front of you like a lake. It's later on in the day and it's just floating. And then that little orb is your energy. And then you, every time you breathe in, as you exhale, you build it up a little more. It's just your energy. Then you inhale... When you exhale, you put a little more of yourself in there until you have a nice big ball. Then the next thing you know, the ball is bigger and then the ball just kind of goes and you're just feeling like you're in light. Because that that energy is you. That's the real you inside that ball. And that It's the real you that is that ball, that orb of light. And then you just float. And then you can, you know, start talking with your spirit guides you say hello you know and then you and then um and, and, you, and you don't say it out loud in your mind you say where are you come to me now you don't threaten to kill him um but you are affirmative where are you come to me now 
and just relax. And then you feel outwards everywhere, waiting to feel and hard energy and something coming in through your solar plexus, uh, through the uh, uh, crown, uh, a gut feeling through the solar plexus, uh, seeing something in the pineal. Uh, just relax and just be open to whatever happens. You have to let them communicate in the way they so desire. Okay? And if it doesn't happen the first time, cool, don't worry about it. It will happen, but you have to relax. If it's not happening, folks, you're not relaxing. Now, some of you don't have good spirit guides. Okay? And this, and your spirit guides have been overworked for four years. That's a lot when there's a lot of duress going on, especially the war on the other side. <clears throat> so that's, um, that's another issue. Um, but you don't worry about that. Just keep going. Uh, within four months, if you need a new spirit guide, I'll know about it and you'll get one. Uh, there's a lot of you have worked with. When you have a, um, a spirit guide problem, I either give them some help or get rid of them and um, bring new ones in. And then all of a sudden you can feel them, talk with them. It works. Um, I know them. They know me. Okay. Um, they know change is coming. And they know who's bringing it. So it's, it's all good. We have a cool family over there. But it's important for all of you in the physical bodies in this third dimension to start becoming your true self, okay? Who you really are, for your abilities to just come out. Um, uh, I like to make jokes about the lotus blossom. Well, with the lotus blossom, let it open and flower. But honestly, it's like that. It's like the lotus blossom coming up and just opening up, nice and soft and serene, just beautiful. That's what your energy has to do, and as you open up and with that relaxed feeling, you had no, you're going to start seeing things, uh, whether you see them through the pineal, multidimensionally, or you see them through the scanner, uh, which can be the cartoon image, or lots of times it's also uh, um, very direct, uh, it's remote viewing, comes from the scanner, but it's all, it also sees differently, uh, it can images and stuff, which is more computer-like, uh, like a computer-generated uh, um, image. Um, but it's, it also senses things. It's aware of things. The heart feels energy as it goes by you. The heart goes through multiple dimensions just walking around. You know, it's incredible what's out there, but it's time for everyone to have what they need to do it. 100 years is a maximum a, a time allotment from starting 2016. 100 years is the maximum time allotment for three very important things to happen, actually four. Okay, and then after that, there's a thousand, maybe a little more years. Uh, and the body's going to be, the physical body's going to be really going or gone. Animals are going real soon, as I've said a million times. But the thing is, for all of you to start becoming, for all of you that are ready for this, for all of you that want to do this, is to learn how to go ahead and open up. And most of you are. The majority of uh, souls on this planet are... Uh, 17% uh, negative, which is clean and is strong. Uh, that's souls. Um, so anyway, um, when you flow inside yourself, just relaxing, just flow in there, you just keep your mind open. You just, as a matter of fact, you don't keep your mind open, you don't think about it, because you made the affirmation earlier to disconnect it. Just take the gears off, <coughs> hit it, and boom. The mind's just softly flowing. Because if you can do that and just relax and go inside yourself, then you come out. But you have to be relaxed. You have the, uh, the, in the breathing, you relax the body. But then you have to relax the mind. And it can only relax when you let go of it. Okay? And you have to not worry about where you are, someone coming in. You can't worry about that stuff. It'll keep your conscious mind engaged. Um, okay. Now, there's a, a, a hundred ways to do this. Uh, let's just do this this way now. All right, all right here's where you would uh, put on a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, put on uh, like Tom Kenyon sound bath or some soft drums. Some people like to didgeridoo. The softer it is, the more relaxed it is. Um, the easier it is to work with, okay? It's nice to do without any noise, but there's usually some kind of noise hanging around that might bother you. 
Uh, sometimes you're so tense, uh, something really calm and relaxing helps. But you want to get away from something that has words or a whole lot of different instruments in it doing a lot of different stuff because that is going to keep your conscious mind engaged. And folks, you're watching me and we're talking about this because you're not there yet. And once you are, boom, you're there. You get used to it. it it's normal. It, it's like living like that. It, it's, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's, you stay there. It's, it's, a lot of the gurus say it's enlightenment. Um, no, you just awake. You're aware of yourself. You're aware of other stuff around you. That's all. Okay. So let's go through the process. Okay. Get comfortable. If you want some soft music, you've already got that plan. And again, only harmonics or uh, nature sounds or whatever. And it has to be soft in the background. Not coming at your heart. So you're sitting in a chair. Your back somewhat straight, but you're relaxed. Okay. Now, just take normal breaths, just full breaths. You breathe in that beautiful oxygen and the good energy from the earth, and then you release the carbon dioxide and frustration frequencies within your body. And then you do it again. Breathing in the good and exhaling the waste. You do it again. Three, four times, three, four times more, whatever it takes. And just let your body go numb. If you want, you can relax and just feel your whole body just numb at one time. Now, this is hard to do while you're listening to me. But just take a little bit deeper breaths, just barely a little deeper. and let your mind go. Be nowhere, don't worry. Just be you, that's all. Just be, just exist. There's no time, there's no anything. Just a little deeper again. Every time you breathe a little deeper, as you exhale, you're going a little deeper inside yourself. Just relax. There's nothing to concern yourself about at all. All that matters is you just relax and be you. You're free. You're floating. And everything is fine. Feel the energy in your body, or head, or anywhere, just start coming out and floating. It's not coming out to go anywhere, it's just you. You're relaxing, your personal energy opens up and it flows, it extends, just naturally, is just like you're exhaling. Just let it go, it's of no concern. 
you need to relax and let yourself flow. That's all. Okay, now, using only thought, just very relaxed, in your head only, not by voice, tell your spirit guide, come to me now. And in your head, you know that your primary spirit guide is to come to you right now. Just relax and let them say hello. If you can't hear them, that's very normal. It's something you should actually expect. But listen, open up a little deeper. Open up your mind, your heart. Just let your energy come, flow straight out of your body. It's just all your, everything, everywhere. Your energy's escaping, just float. You're still attached to the body, you never leave. But your energy is just opening up and going everywhere. And if you still can't feel your spirit guide, then it's time for the best spirit guide anyone can have. Your animal spirit guides. Just stay relaxed. Sometimes, especially starting, it's best to close your eyes. I just do this all the time, so I leave them open. I like to see light coming in. But I started by having them closed. It was much better then. And you open yourself up. Open up your mind, your heart, your chest, your stomach. Open everything up and just be everywhere. Your energy is floating. It's bigger than the state. It's everywhere. You open it up. And in your heart, you feel out to your animal spirit guide, where are you? Come to me, now. We have to meet. It's time for us to meet. And just relax. Just think it in your head. We need to meet now, it's time. That's all you do. Just do it once. Just meet it when you say it. And then here they come. They'll start flowing in towards you. You might get an image in your head of a certain animal. You might feel the roar of a certain animal. You might see a few animals. Animal energy is always around us. So you might get an image. You might see an actual am, uh, animal uh, figure. The actual animal itself might walk right up to you, if it, through the pineal, walks right up to you and looks you right in the face. I have my black panther. I have hawk. I have a huge snake. a hippopotamus. So wait for them to come to you. You might hear some noise. You might just feel them coming towards you. If you don't feel anything at first, 
give it a couple a couple moments and if there's still nothing extend yourself forward out of your body right now come out see the forest walk into the forest as you walk closer you never go in the forest you never go through the trees but then the forest is around you and the clearing that you're in small waterfall running nice and soft a nice pool of water floats on off into a small stream and there are a few animals laying down around you they're there when you need them they're secondary animal guides you just relax and wait for your primary atom, uh, animal spirit guide to come out of the forest and just come up to you and they'll come right up to you and they will say hello without saying a word and you will understand when you look each other in the eye that this animal is here for you to help give you strength and help you make it through this life then extend yourself into this animal energy feel it it'll be doing the same with you you'll feel this animal's love you'll feel the animal's courage you'll feel its fortitude and you will feel the message is giving you its own particular energy that helps you and then in the meantime while you're doing this if you haven't talked to your other spirit guide earlier he might come out of the forest now and approach both you and your animal spirit guide and the two of them are in front of right in front of you usually they're very close to each other then you see him and feel him and then softly after a while they'll float away and you float back and come back in your body relax but your mind is still very much at ease you're not floating but there's nothing holding you down you're just extended out everywhere because you're your true self this is your energy not the physical body that's touching the ground this is the real you and you're floating around just relaxing go ahead and take the time to take a better look at all these animals laying down around this beautiful pool of water and as you look at them they'll look up at you they will know that you're looking at them extend your energy out into all of them feel them feel their love feel their desire to help feel the individual gifts that they give you as far as their energy characteristics let the heart energy flow out to them and then to you it just flows back and forth and the whole time your energy is just out everywhere floating free your true self that's what it's like when you're on the other side then when it's time automatically you'll just start coming back and you feel yourself coming back in the body and then next thing you know uh, it might have been a lot longer than what you thought it was uh, might be shorter um, it's usually usually a lot longer than what than what you expected but um, that's just one thing I need to get out to try to help you okay to, to do this um, and after a while uh, you'll you'd be like me you'd be walking around you just be talking with your guides uh, if they have something important to tell you they'll tell you you'll be driving down the road using your conscious mind 
but then boom you get a message and you talk all the time but folks it has to start with you relaxing and flowing down inside yourself and them coming to you nice and softly because that is a meditative state that your mind needs to be in for you to do a whole lot of stuff it's not just meeting them and then talking with them because later on you talk with the animal guys and everything all the time I talk to them all the time I'm talking to me now okay it's no problem uh, Black Panther's looking at me waiting what am I gonna do uh, something else I have to do it's whatever excuse me um, but uh, I love them don't get me wrong uh, um, I love my animals uh, animal spirit um, heck I love everything um, I just do what I have to do whenever I, I gotta do it but uh, um, the uh, your spirit guides are waiting to help you animals uh, humans uh, uh, fey they're all over the place um, you need to really touch base with them okay and when you flow down inside yourself and go through that exercise when you've done it a few times and you're really getting better and feeling better at it then you get your mind, mind calm let your energy float out a little bit to where you're your true self and you are inside your body but you're also in the second dimension you're in the second and the third dimensions and then in your mind you just focus the last house I lived in on, a, on another planet just make that affirmation in your head please don't say anything out loud uh, later on you can do what you want you can jump up and down and still do it I can do whatever I want okay I used to um, practice astral projecting when I was uh, earlier when I was a kid I'd be driving and then I'd astral project kid it wasn't that long ago um, I, I, I was driving and then I was astral projecting like a, a PIP picture in a picture uh, while going down the road you can do all kinds of stuff that I, I would not advise that um, but anyway uh, um, you would be amazed at the things you can do it's just getting it started because once you get in that meditative state you understand that the the frequency base of the thought patterns you need to have and folks that's going to come down your life it does wonderful stuff you can like I said you can actually project there you can say I want to see this want to see that you can talk with deceased family okay and once you get that certain mindset you don't have to meditate it's a natural thing the meditation is good okay it's very good um, but you don't have to talk with your spirit guides it's conversation all the time I'm always talking with animals everything all over the place uh, uh, Raven talk all the time big crows too they, they talk all the time um, so anyway I gotta run um, but I at least want to get something out there for y'all I'm doing what I can to help but uh, um, uh, heck it's uh, it's only 20 to 9 but uh, I gotta get going um, anyway uh, love you all I hope that does help um, I'm gonna really put something good together if I can just get the books done in time and then you know get ready to go okay um, uh, and then that, that'll really help but this and this other good stuff out there folks I'm not the only what I'm telling you is not the only way to do it I'm not the only one to talk to about this stuff dr. Stephen D farmer is awesome uh, earthmagic.net just one other person okay um, he's awesome uh, uh, but my way will work it's just that because my way is just you being you in a relaxed state of mind and allowing yourself to open up it's not really my way it's everyone's way it's your way it's a natural way that's all it is nothing special okay so anyway uh, I hope it helps uh, at least some of you um, and uh, love you all man have a good night just relax okay and put the conscious mind in neutral have a good one